Second intro. All right. I'm here with the guy you may remember from Fantastic Five. Some. I survived. We both did. Somehow. Is it recording? Yes. Excellent. Shut up. You see that? That's our voices. Mm. Yes. Mine is clearly much manlier because it causes bigger blips on the thing. And so we're playing T for two. Yes. A game I thought would be appropriate with a second person. Mm. My name? Antoine Boutin. Retired retired banker. (laughs) Retired. I live in a pretty town, have enough money to keep my small family, and yet, and yet keep my small family. I still want to sell them. them. I own them. I have them locked up in the cellar. Each day, whoa, (laughs) bit of a plot dump there. Yeah. Each day at 11 a.m. I stand on the corner of Boulevard St. Germain. And feel the same broken paving slab rocking back back and forth under my feet. What? I rock in sympathy between the opposing forces of love and fear. I'm kind of a disappointment to my parents. I love killing people, but I'm afraid my family won't let me kill them. Dang. (laughs) The toneless bell of St. Germain's small chapel rings mournfully in the empty streets. Mm. Father Ryan... (laughs) Swings shut the oak. You want to be father, right? Sure. All right. Swings shut the old oak doors, and the righteous are locked within, possibly murdered. I mean, it now is a church. quickening my steps to take me. Cl- I thought this was like what kind of eighteen hundreds. This is a pretty modern hotel. Yeah, maybe he's just insane. Hotel. Now my quickening steps take me closer to the faded seaside grandeur of Marine Parade. I'll just get over yourself, man. Each building which lines the beachfront is a monument to the speculative optimism which preceded by proposing buildings of a railway extension of arm block down. Big words. I'm very interesting. You could have really sped that up by going... I have this There's a lot of buildings, and they run parallel to a railroad. Yes, he has this instead of a personality. When the railway transport pioneers found the hard rock of our surrounding hills uneconomic to breach, the hotel and guest houses fell into misery and disrepair. Well, those pioneers weren't trying hard enough. Some, shoddily built from cheap materials, succumbed to the salt air and winter gales, finally being bulldozed for the sake of public safety. That hotel seems nice. Yeah, seems fine. Other change, others change their use and use, and or use, yeah, same word. Transformed into undignified furniture warehouses and cheap office spaces, the grand staircase and panelled dining rooms hidden under plywood and municipal book beige paint. You know, you could save those rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Have amazing. a really nice meeting in those grand dining rooms. That'd be Make badass. Only one of the. Grand dames of the seashore remains. Queen she, Elizabeth. <laughs> she is moist. <laughs> Get it? Seashore? Yes. She is battered. Her paint hangs in curling strips. But the Hotel du Monde continues her art deco spirit, undaunted by passing years and change of fortune. That's a re- pretty modern hotel, and it yep. doesn't look that bad. Yeah. That was pretty ahead of its time, if it uh, was there during the 1800s when a railroad should have been passing through a town. Yeah. Can concrete, dodgy wiring, and battered window frames contain a soul? I sometimes catch a reflection in salt spray glass, and it feels as if she may be winking at me. Or you're just mad. He has a building fetish, apparently. He does stand on a corner and just rock back and forth. How fanciful crazy of me. Yes. How fanciful crazy of me. And yet, she speaks, and somehow, I hear. That's called schizophrenia. There's many doctors who will be able to help you. Probably in the hotel. Yeah. Every day the cool sea breeze picks me up and blows me (laughs) 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 to this unworldly place. A heavenly retreat where I find my angel. Oh, God. Are you sure that's the same thing? (laughs) You be her. Marry you. Mion <laughs> sir. She has no I don't know how to French. <laughs> None at all. Mary. 
Her name melts like butter in my hot, dry crotch. <laughs> These days, as always, I cannot avert my gaze from the gentle movement of her lips. <laughs> so how about this new hotel? <laughs> Jesus Christ. He doesn't look that bad, honestly. Call me Antoine, please. That's, that's me. Oh. Call me Antoine, please. <laughs> but Madam Gaydent insists. It's Gadot. Gadot. <laughs> Obviously. Clearly. Do you Daddy. think this person could actually pronounce that? I don't think they could pronounce anything. Mm -hmm. Mary glances nervously back through the hotel glass entrance door. I hope. I take the chance to study the delicate curve of her chin, newly sprinkled with summer freckles. This guy's creepy. Really? <laughs> Madame is in her office. The waitress nods carefully. Yeah, mm, yeah, mm. Which means at this hour she is probably sleeping. That's true. Question mark period. She agrees silently, shyly mm. studying the hem of her apron. So let us begin again. T for two. That is the title of the game. Bravo! We Yay. did it. Cheers all around. Is it done yet? No. Damn. I smile and watch her scurry away, like a mouse that had its face bashed in with a flying pan. She fell down on all fours and ran away quickly. He looks like he almost had a mustache. There are few customers around at this time. It's 11 in the morning. Do you think breakfast he just time. stares for like hours on end at random a places? A dead stare with nom flashbacks. <laughs> kind of want to edit in some nom flashbacks at this point. That were London chance. <laughs> <laughs> Reference. The breakfast flurry is over, and lunch is an hour away. I choose my visiting time with care, when there are the fewest witnesses about, and I'm then I do killer. nothing to disillusion her. Mmm, yeah. He has claw fingers, you see that? Jesus Christ. The hooks for hands. Melee knows my order, and I wonder if she prepares it in advance, as she is remarkably swift returning to the table. Human ovaries being so hard to cook to that nice, brimming, raw flavor. I'm a serial killer. You will not drink all this tea. It's rather forward and demanding. I believe that the... 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 She gives <laughs> a little away, though. And direct questions cause such clouds of anxiety that I make it a game to make her smile whenever such issues arise. Then you will join me. She will not. <laughs> well, <laughs> the most I can hope for Quickly is that she will hover nearby while attending to her many duties. Like a creep. Mm. That's what she looks like. Time. This time is most prayerful. We are all dying inside. I sip my tea with 20 whole minutes left to enjoy Marie's company. We chat about small things, but mostly pass the time in peace for silence. Just hire a prostitute, man. Not Jesus. since childhood have I been so comfortable to be quiet around another person. What? <laughs> I contemplate my tea. It is indeed tea. I don't know what I was expecting. There's tea, no I suppose. <laughs> and my expectations were met. I continue to sip my tea. Pursing my lips as the steam wafts past my nose. It tastes much like tea. Maybe it could use a lemon. It's not a hard order, really. I mean, I said she gets it every time, but it is just tea after all. Jesus. <laughs> now I'm on a poorly drawn beach. <laughs> what? Apparently he left. I try not to look back. My purple cloak is so ugly against my disappearing hand. I really did not want to pay that bill, so I just ran. <laughs> Ditched. You've got this, Marie. Bye-bye. That's what you get, bitch. I doubt my resolve will be strong enough to resist the desire to return. Should I see Marie patiently watching me go? You forgot to pay! Jackass. Once I am safely returned to the crumbling seafront parade... I ought to poison your tea next time. I always piss in it just beforehand. That's why it's ready so quick. I allow myself to pause briefly. She urinated in my tea. <laughs> and, <laughs> that whore. <laughs> and while the brisk sea salts breezes with playing on my exposed skin, I try to seal the memory of the last precious half hour in a safe place in my mind. My it was half an hour skin. ago. It'll be fine. 
sun-dried sand skitters on the broken concrete. And then I remember I'm a vampire. And I, and I die. The flagstones. Oh, God. Flagstones! Oh, no! Watch out, man! Flagstones in the avenue Picard are large and regular. Much like the solid citizens who populate many coveted apartments with tree line full of hair. I look towards an early head in the wheeler of her swat. Is that annoying you? Yeah, I don't know, man. Of her poor heart, Mom. Then has a hair, what hair, how? Oh, God, me. the drugs are kicking in. <laughs> I like that voice better. Don't leave his heart with me, sleep. What does he have? Honey, I'm just leaving my little hero. Why does my house have a really auspicious <laughs> blue door? I have two very stiff magazines. Valerie, are you home? I bought some magazines. The question is redundant. My wife's movements are as predictable as a Swiss clock. One day I shall have her. Antoine, bring up the post. Antoine. Po Antoine, bring up the post if you, you can't please. give all the girls a bored masculine voice. You don't even know what she looks like yet. Yeah, let's see her and then I'll give her a voice. Several letters, bills, and some holiday brochures adorn the doormat as I stoop to retrieve them as I pass. Oh, God! Oh, my God! What happened to her chin? Botched plastic surgery. All right, you can give her whatever voice you want. I greet my wife. Why is her hair pink? <laughs> I greet my wife with a carefully placed keys so as not to disturb her makeup. Or shatter her chin and cheekbones. Yeah. Amazing what she would look like without makeup. I love how that pillow is clipping into the other one there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the worst part of this. <laughs> <You're bent to laughs> <us. laughs> she does have a bit of a small mouth, doesn't she? I have only the big live offerings for the one. You have <laughs> That is my lie. You look lovely today. Oh well. Can you he's tell not that wrong. I'm lying? Having dispensed with the polite greet, you look lovely today. Well, now that that's out of the way, how about we fuck? Valerie Don't feels free to put the to bag over your head. Into her main theme. We have a, we must have a holiday. <laughs> Do the she looks she was better ish. Yeah, there. but her chin is being killed by her neck. Yeah, yeah, it is a little. Fall into my not... chair, shocked at the prospect of spending a whole week without me. Yeah, his coat's kind of weird. Isn't I meant his face. Look at that. Oh, mm. So apparently he's cheating on her with Marie, or at least wants to. Okay, I don't care. Fortnite, Lombardi. Don't say we can't afford it. My medical bills haven't been paid yet. We'll pay with your card. It's awful assuming of her. I want a holiday, and you'll pay for it. Don't say we can't afford it. You got me in the car accident. Two you'll weeks. Pay for it. Two weeks. Impossible. How can I bear it? It would be good for you. You are grumpy these days. You would be too if you were married to you. <laughs> the pain of guilt is part of my thoughts, so I play for time. Why Lombardi? Because you know you won't have that cheating whore with you. <laughs> <laughs> that voice has to be difficult for you to do. Just a bit. You don't have to do it. You I don't care. Give her a different one. The weather is nice. <laughs> I like that be better. Expensive. We can share the cost. Well, are we using my card or aren't we, bitch? Well, it's your money. Who the hell? I love that singer. With the, <laughs> with the Blairions. I no, 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 you absolutely have to say it. Blairions. With the Blairions. I've already paid the deposit. Wow. We're going on Thanks, this. bitch. Yep. <laughs> Lombardi. The Blairions. I'm so horrified that I haven't strength to speak. Xavier Blarion. <laughs> Fantastic name right there. Xavier Blarion. Yeah. My dear boy, have you met Xavier Blarion? Yes, he's a giant douche. He is, but boy, how he handles himself, that Xavier Blarion. 
head of the Barian Law Firm, the type of Barian States. I didn't know someone could look so refined while masturbating in public. <laughs> Xavier Blair was a self-proclaimed expert in all things, from the micro-propaganda of the pair of Dahlias to training and management of a football team. Tell me a guy named Xavier Blairion wouldn't be cut. And the coach of the New York Redskins, Xavier Blairion. I can see that name working. Yeah. The last he knows about a topic, the more complete his conviction is that he's right, and the happier he is to share wisdom with other hours. Madame Blairion, Giselle, is valorous over his friends. But until recently, they worked in a hair salon in the town centre. Exposition, exposition. Exposition. Xavier's one good deed, which, that is mine at least, eclipses any possible misdoings. Even murder. Is he rescued, if he lasts at the ripe age 45 from her dominating in hypochondriac mother? Exposition, exposition, beatnik vegetarian. Exposition, exposition, Forgetting fish it. exposition. Quotas rely on farming. Though there may be many Xavier not miss a chance to lecture, cajole the world. Yeah, he we might... might be speeding through this, but do you care? Yeah. Do you honestly care, people viewing? <laughs> if you want to read the story, by all means, pause the video. Maybe the most unpopular man in our entire region. Valerie would not hear a word spoken against respects that could be said the power which abused Blarium's character. I stare mournfully. Mourning my lost mustache. Try to tune out Valerie's voice as she continues about length and shoppings. Why did I try to snort fire ants? There is, of course, no arguing with my wife once her mind is made up. I am so whipped. But I must come up with a way to get out of this damned vacation. I know. Suicide. And back to him drinking a cup for a second. Did you see that? Hmm, there's no cyanide in this cup. Next Damn. morning, I stare out of the house, feeling determined. I feel determined. I'll just run in one direction oh, no. and leave my wife behind. I've got it. This is his ancient voice, and when he speaks out loud, he talks like this. That seems a bit too strong for such a pussy whip dude. Yes, but, uh... He's putting on airs, as it were. A uh, fine. The prospect of a holiday with the awful barons inspires me with action. I'll murder them. <laughs> I'll express my true feelings to marry you. Here I am again. I stamp through the old town. Do you hear Onto that? Onto the prayer. Then march my usual table outside Hotel de Mont. I play my drum. <laughs> there I hesitate. Where is she? Ah! Yeah. Still creepy. Eventually, Bray appears from inside the hotel. Uh. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, Monsieur Butin. Woo! It smelled bad. It's nice to see you. She seems distracted. Oh, look, a shiny thing. Yeah. Whatever is the matter... Monsieur Boutin, you're so kind, but I cannot serve you tea today. We're out. I'm not <laughs> fired. <laughs> Apparently sleeping with all the customers is frowned upon. Lord knows my cooch appreciated it, though. Never oh, been so yeah. stretched out. Made the birthings real easy. Flew out like a water slide, it did. Right into a locket. <laughs> right into a bucket of nails. Can't be having kids with my thing after all. Just did it for my boobs to be bigger. You know how much they pay for child meat on the black market? I don't. I have someone else do that. It's disgusting work. Yeah. By the way, the tea is made from liquidized child. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Oh, God. I need his voice to be manly, but also terrible. I stand in incomprehension. Yeah, I would too. I'm so sorry. You must go now. Then she vanishes through the hotel walls for an awkward glance. I have a cadaver, I'm gone. Undeterred, I walk into the lobby, looking around to see where the air might have gone. The hotel is strangely silent. Then I hear the ragging noise from above and sprint up the stairs. Oh shit, she huh. killed a monster. 
Yeah, maybe. I mean, that's not clear, clearly not human. I mean, look at the size of her neck. Yeah. Her neck is like feeding into her chest. There's no collarbone there. One of the bedroom doors is ajar. I push it wide open. Sir, what are you doing here? You must go, or help me dispose of the body. She's got something orange in her hands there. The heat. The shock. Whoa, got a lot of... Fr uh, he what do you call him? Um, Man, what a Frames. Pussy. I got a lot of frames there. It's like, when I came around from my hand, when he was cradling my head in her lap, not seen in this picture, you see, but... <laughs> no, she's like holding his head with her she's knees. She's not even holding... Yeah, she's just kind of... He's posing in front of a bucket. See Paint. that pose? That's very much a paints me like a French girl. Uh, the sensation is delicious in the... <laughs> Fran Choice grabbed the bin quickly. He <laughs> will vomit. Fran Choice. You want to be Fran Choice? Or should I? Yeah, you should. Frankly, I managed not to disgrace myself. I only pissed my pants. My eyes refocus. I only fainted. It's not a disgrace. My eyes refocus and the whole hell chef looms out of the darkness. <clears throat> If we delay any longer, the police would get suspicious. You must leave now, Marie. Police? No, please don't leave. I must know what is happening. Yeah, I like that voice for him. I'm not. It an sounds alien. powerful, but he can't emphasize it at all. Yes. My voice sounds delirious, and a couple of other things. What are you doing with my SP? How can you stand that? Can you stand now, Mr. Boutin? Did you really just faint? Find out how he can stand next time, as we're going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Token. This has been... Bagman. Okay, that's your name this time. See you around. What was my name last time?